What's up everybody, Jason Boone here from PremiumBeat.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can utilize blend modes in Premiere Pro to make some basic exposure adjustments. So let's get started. There's a lot you can do when you start messing around with blend modes of certain layers. And if you've ever worked in graphic design, you, you really know the power of blend modes. But when it comes to video editing, there's just a wide variety of things you can do with these, with these tools, including color correction, adding texture and lighting effects, and the possibilities are pretty wide. But for this tutorial, I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to show you how you can do some basic exposure adjustments to video using these blend modes. So it's just going to kind of be a nice brief introduction to blend modes. First, we're going to darken and fix an overexposed image using blend modes. Then we're going to brighten up an underexposed image. And then we'll use blend modes to brighten and darken specific areas of a video image. So let's get started. When you change a blend mode, you're essentially creating a composite. And a composite is two images used to make one image. The simplest form of a composite would be with these two layers here. I lower the opacity of my top layer and we begin to see the underlying layer. This is a very, very basic composite. And blend modes are just more complex versions of these composites. And that's why you can find when you select a layer, you can find the blend modes under the opacity section, under the effect controls panel. So if we flip down and we look at our blend modes here, you'll notice there's six different sections. And they are not labeled, but each of these sections are different categories. So these blend modes are kind of categorized by how they affect the particular layers. So real quickly up here we have normal, then we have subtractive, additive, complex, difference, and then the hue saturation luminosity section down here. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to be keeping our blend modes. So we'll be using subtractive in the additive sections here. Okay, so now let's take our first image here and we're going to use, I said we're going to darken an image here. So let's take our overexposed image. Let's go ahead and create a new sequence here. And the way, again, the way you use blend modes is you have to layer. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer and overlay it on top of itself. And we're going to make the blend mode adjustments to the top layer. Now if we go back to our effect controls panel, when you open up opacity, we can see blend modes here. Now what I want to do is I want to darken this clip. So if we go down here, again, this is the subtractive category section here that gives us five different modes here. Subtractive category offers up modes which will darken your clip. And after testing out a few, I found that multiply mode provides the, with the best result. And that's the kind of the key here is test these out, find what works best for you. And according to Adobe's support page, the multiply mode simulates drawing with multiple marking pins on paper or placing multiple gels in front of a light. Now watch what happens here. Actually, before we do this, I'm going to bring up our scopes here. You can see this is quite bright. So now watch what happens when we change the blend mode of our top layer. There, it brings back some detail, lowers our, lowers our brightness here, and then we have a little bit more of a usable clip here. Now, again, this is, this is kind of just a starting point. You can use these for your exposure adjustments, but you know, in a real color correction workflow, you'd want to adjust the uh, hue and saturation levels of these as well, and maybe make some fine-tuned adjustments. But to start off with, or to quickly do a down and dirty exposure adjustment, these blend modes are a great method of fixing what you want to fix. Okay, next up we're going to brighten our underexposed image. So if we go here, find our underexposed clip, and then we create a new sequence out of this one. Take a look at our scopes. Yeah, it's quite dark. So go ahead and duplicate this, select our top layer, go to the effect controls panel, and we're going to go to the additive section here. Now again we have five and if you look, a lot of these are going to do kind of almost the opposite of what these do. Not specifically, but once you start to play around with these, you'll start to learn exactly what they do. And again, if you want to go to Adobe support page, they have descriptions, brief descriptions of each blend mode. Now I'm going to go with screen. Watch what happens here. And there we go, it brightens it up nice and bright. Now if you go on Adobe support page, it tells you that the screen mode is similar to projecting multiple photographic slides simultaneously onto a single screen. 
And finally, I want to show you one more thing which is really, really helpful. It helps you isolate. You know, you know, most of the time you don't want to do some basic exposure adjustment to your entire scene. You want to kind of focus in on a particular area. So let me quickly show you how we can achieve that. I have an interview clip here. And the interview clip is properly exposed. But let's say we want to draw more attention to our subject here and that our background is too bright. So what we want to do is isolate the background and make it dark, basically darken it up. So I'll go down here, I will duplicate the clip, I will select our top clip, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a crop on our top clip. Select the crop, bring it over here, and now I'm going to draw our, our selection here so that I can kind of isolate our subject and we can kind of fine-tune this in okay so we have our crop selected here now if we want to go and adjust and darken watch what happens watch watch our clip we select multiply and then boom it darkens up the background but if you look it's a nasty that just looks awful so we need to adjust our crop here or our mask and there's a feather tool here so we can really feather that out to make it look more um, you know more smooth around the edges here now that's that's pretty dark and if we want it that dark it's fine but if we want to the nice part here is that if we want to adjust it we can simply go to our top layer and adjust the opacity and now this is kinda of backwards because as we lower the opacity the image the background is gonna get brighter let me turn off the keyframes. So watch what happens. I'm going to lower this, and now our background starts to get brighter. So you can fine tune the level of darkness or brightness as you want. I'll take it to 75, and there you go. Now, if you think about the possibilities of what you can do with this, isolating certain images, I could I could darken up his face if we want. You know, there's a, there's just a ton of stuff we could do here. Um, really control where your viewer's eye is drawn using these tools. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality royalty free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.